Y'all slept on these. More for me. One of the reasons for liking this shoe so much is that I do not have the high pair of the Chicago black toes, but these are the next best things and I really like the OG cut just because of the leather they put on there and the Nike Air on the tongue. That is one of my favorite parts of the shoe. It's totally OG with that. But yeah, and red is my favorite color. So yeah, this is an amazing shoe right here. But without much of wasting any more time, let's get into the review. So as you could see, I've already laced these up and I chose the red laces. In my opinion, the red laces are the best option for this shoe because in my opinion, if you look at it, uh, it is kind of sectioned off, blocked off, if you will, with the color patterns. I feel like each color has the same amount of space it takes up on the shoe. So with the black, you got it all along the eyelids, around the toe box, and on the swoosh. And then you got some black right here on the wings logo looking real nice. I like this back part. I do like the regular retro Air Jordan 1 lows with the big wings logo on the back. Those are cool, but these are nice as well. I wish that it was a little bigger, but it still looks real nice on these, no doubt. And then you got the red which takes up the back parts of it and that is the only red leather that we get on the shoe and then you got red along the bottom right here so I feel like adding the red on the laces balances out more because then if you put the black laces I feel it's like way too much black and then if you put white laces that's way too much white because the toe box and then the side panel but that's just my opinion it makes the shoe pop a lot more but i really do like that but to get more into detail i just talked about the laces so now we'll talk about the tongue you got the red nike air on top of the black nylon tongue and the patch is black as well real cool like the way it contrasts with the laces and the tongue being black now you move down to your toe box and it has that real wrinkly nice smooth leather that is real smooth and uh yeah i really like that the texture and uh, once these get broken in and worn and creased They'll look really good as well. Next, you'll move on to your black toe box. Leather's looking good. I like the way the leather looks on this part of the shoe as well. It's not like a flat black, but you could see it has wrinkles in it, which I really like for this shoe. And next, moving on to the eyelets, you got black eyelets all on the side right there. That's cool. And then you got the side panel. You got the white side panel right there with the black Nike check. I wish they did it like the other OG Lowe's and made it a fatter swoosh. I think that would have made it a lot more better. Uh, in my opinion, that is really the only zonk that I have on this shoe is that they did not put the big swoosh but I still give the shoe a 10 out of 10, to be honest. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, 
But yeah, moving on next, you got the back of the shoe, the back panels. So you got your red heel panel right here. And then above that, you got your upper heel panel with the Wings logo looking real nice right there. And the leather is almost like a matte finish. Uh, it almost looks like a suede at a quick glance, but once you touch it, it's leather. Feels really good, feels really smooth. I like that. Next, you got your white midsole. Looking all clean. I'm gonna definitely dirty these up. And then you got your red sole. Looking nice, looking nice. And yeah, then you move on in to the inside of the shoe. You got your white insole with the black Nike Air on there. Liking that, looking clean. Only thing that sucks is that insole is going to get really dirty over time and but it doesn't matter we got three pairs so yeah it's all good next oh yeah i forgot to talk about with the laces it comes undone unlaced so if you get yours laced from the supposed factory you know those that might be fake but these the retail pair which i got come with black and red laces like i said i think the red is the best choice but if you want a more toned down look or you don't like red as much you can go with those black laces i have seen people throw in sail and white laces on these uh which i think the sail looks good but the only thing that I would wait for is I will put some sail laces, but what I'm doing is naturally wearing a pair of Air Jordan 1 Lows with white laces that I have. I'm gonna like age those naturally and just wear them until they get a little, you know, like uh, dirty, dingy, and then wash them. And then I'll have that age look, and I plan to wear these all summer so these will kind of get that yellow midsole look kind of get that aged look and once that happens I will throw on the aged laces so it'll look naturally aged but for now really loving the red laces on these so tell me down in the comment section why you think these sat I have two to three kind of theories why one is because they are not a true OG low, meaning that back in the day these were not released. So maybe that's why they are simply a low of an OG colorway. An o well, not an OG colorway, but they are simply a low of an OG. And the second reason I think they sat is it may or may not be but because it does not have the fat swoosh it has the regular size swooshed and number three which i love is that they made a lot of pair of these and it benefits people like me that are actually gonna have them and wear them and like I don't know if cherish is the right word, but enjoy them and not put them on the resale market. All three of my pairs are staying with me. And yeah, those other two in the background are gonna go on ice for a couple years. These are gonna get rocked for the whole summer and who knows, but I'm gonna definitely put Miles up on these Jordan 1 Low OGs, no doubt, but yeah, let me know down below what you think and why these sat. They didn't even sell out right away. In fact, they're still sizes right now on Nike. And Nike's randomly restocking some of it randomly, which I've seen throughout the day. Speaking of which, I already ordered my fourth pair. So, yeah, I got four of these, which super happy about. Kind of 
uh, thinking about getting a fifth, but shoot, who knows? Only time will tell on that. But yeah, these are gonna be really nice. I am going to bust these out tomorrow. And yeah, I will show you guys what I'm going to wear with these. There are a lot of ways that you can dress these and style these, but uh, I am going to show you how I'm gonna wear them for the first time to undead stock That's good, them. guys. So now getting into the outfit portion of the video, the shorts that I chose are these Jordan shorts that I got a couple years back ago. They have the white, black, and red. It's real cool, just check it out. Matches it nicely and perfectly. I like it. It has all the colors of the OG low black toe on it. So these are really cool. They got zippers, then you got the Jordan sign. These are draw cords. So yeah, these are gonna go perfect with it in my opinion. Now for the shirt, you see it. You see it was good. Got the Wings logo shirt and to match the wings logo on the back i think that's heck of fire not too much red on this piece so i don't feel like i'm going too overboard with the red but it matches the shoe perfectly and the shorts and i think it's real dope real jordan heads will appreciate that but yeah also got the shirt a couple years ago way back in the day i think it was like 2010 but yeah glad i kept this shirt over the years to rock it with this this will look perfect so i've shown you all the pieces that i'm going to wear with the air jordan one black toe low time to show you what's up and how it's gonna look let's get it